Hi students, and this week in art, we're going to do a drawing about a dog. But not just any dog. This is going to be Pablo Picasso's Dachshund. So first I'm going to read you a story, and then we're going to do a drawing about a dog. Pablo Picasso was a very famous painter that was from Spain. He was Spanish. He was born in 1881, but then he gained popularity when he moved to France and was very innovative, which means he changed paintings course. He was the inventor of cubism with George Brock in their studio in Paris, and he's probably most famous for having fame in his own lifetime. So very famous. And this is a story of his dog, Lumpito, and how he became part of Pablo Picasso's life. Years ago, there lived a dachshund named Lump. His name was pronounced Lump, which means rascal in German. Lump lived in Rome with Big Dog and a photographer named David. Lump and Big Dog were not best friends. At mealtimes, Lump ate quickly so that Big Dog could not gobble up his food. At bedtime, Lump slept with one eye open because he was afraid of what Big Dog might do. Even playtime was not fun for Lump. Big Dog rolled him around just like a football. One day, Lump woke up to wonderful news. Come, Lump, called David. We're off to meet a famous painter. David packed his car with cameras and film. There was only room for one small dog. Lump chased his tail in excitement. Good boy. Goodbye, big dog. The car door opened like a gulf in flight. A gull in flight. Lump hopped in and the travelers took off. They flew to the south of France on winding, hilly roads. Lump's ears flapped in the breeze. He was happy as a lark. Look at that green. There's Pablo Picasso. At a beautiful villa, a man burst out of the doors to greet them. He was Pablo Picasso. Buenos dias, amigo, he called. Welcome. Lump caught the painter's gaze. His eyes were dark as a desert night. Fierce as bulls and warm like a Spanish sun. The villa's doors flew open again and out bolted a big dog. Lump stood his ground. He was not going to let another big dog push him around. The dog, whose name was Jan, lay on his back. He wanted to be friends. The two dogs ran the garden to play in the tangled grass. Lump sniffed one of the stone goats. Surprise! The goat sniffed back and gave him a friendly nudge. Lumpito has met Esmeralda, roared the painter. Lump liked the sound of his new name, Lumpito. It had a happy ring to it. The painter's wife, Jacqueline called out, La comida, lunch. The smell of fish filled Lumpito's nostrils. His tummy growled. He was so excited he could hardly breathe. Food! And there was no big dog to steal one bite of it. Lumpito ate and ate. He picked the bones clean. So did Picasso. Picasso lay on the ground beside Lumpito. Things look different from down here, he said, stroking Lumpito's long body. Such a beautiful shape, said the painter dreamingly. If Lumpito had been a cat, he would have purred. At supper, Picasso gave Lumpito a special gift, a plate with a drawing on it. Lumpito sniffed the plate, but it did not smell special. Even so, Picasso's joy made the little dog wag his long dog tail. Night wrapped the villa in stars. Everyone slept. Lumpito and Picasso did not. 
They stood looking at the moon, listening for night to share its secrets. In the morning, Lumpito saw a white rabbit in the room. It didn't smell like a rabbit, but Lumpito raced towards it and grabbed its ears. It didn't feel like a rabbit, but Lumpito shook it and chewed. He tore the rabbit to shreds. Picasso roared with laughter. Lumpito loves my paper rabbit. Lumpito smelled meat on the breakfast table and waited patiently beside Picasso's chair. I think Lumpito has found a new home, said David. Rome is not a happy place for him. I travel too much, and Big Dog is not Lumpito's friend. Picasso picked Lumpito up, and the long dog ate from his plate. Lumpito will stay with me, agreed Picasso. Lumpito was happy. He ate all his meals with Picasso. He cuddled on the floor next to Esmeralda and slept with both eyes closed. And playtime with Jan was always fun. Lumpito did not only inspire drawings, he also found his way into several paintings. Picasso's large painting called Les Menenes or the Maids of Honor, was based on an old Spanish painting. The original has a big dog in it. In Picasso's version, you will find a funny black dog with perky ears. That is Lump. So that's the story of Picasso's dog, Lumpito. And here is a picture of Pablo Picasso with his dog. And here is a simple drawing that Picasso did of Lumpito. And I'm going to show you how to do that simple drawing. And you are going to create a picture putting Lumpito in a special traveling place. Picasso is known for being very prolific. He did tons and tons, lots and lots of paintings and drawings. And one of the things he did was... A simple drawings with just a simple line. So that's what this project is. So with your finger on your screen, we're going to just warm up by just tracing his dog. And the ear, when you come to the ear, do a loop, top of the head, nose, mouth, done. So now we're going to try it with pen. So leg up, bring the dog back. Leg down, hind leg, tail, long body, come past that first leg, ear, head, nose, mouth. You will then cut out your dog, color your dog a color, and then create an environment for your dog to live in. I choose, chose to put my dog on the moon. Where do you want your dog to go? Maybe it went to a volcano? Is it out on a boat in the sea? At the park? At the beach? Find an interesting place for a Lumpito to go and create that environment with color and shapes. Have fun!